What's going on guys? Chase, chasewinds.com coming to you for Friday, May the 7th, doing a little Cadillac cam free play action for you. Didn't get to do a video yesterday, but was able to give you some winners for all the premium clients and everything. Went 1-0 in the MLB again, 1-0 in the NHL again. We did drop our NBA play, but it's okay, still had a winning day nonetheless. Uh, the last three days on the premium card, swept it in MLB. Only, only game that we've lost this week in Major League Baseball, uh, leading from Tuesday, has been the Dodgers and the Cubs, which that was a fluke of a loss anyway because it went into, I mean, <laughs> damn near 12 innings, and it was one of those things that, like I've told you, once you get past that 10th inning, it can just be a crapshoot, especially with the new rules of there being a player, a runner starting on second, things like that. And the Dodgers not only should have won the game 3-1, to one, never should have made extras, but they gave that one bad pitch up, which cost them a home run. They were up in the 10th. They were up again in the 11th but they just couldn't hold on. You know, once you get through the bullpen like that, they were not willing to throw solid bullpen arms in there in the 11th. Other than Jansen, which truth be told, with the way he had, you know, the lack of rest that he had, I don't agree with him going in at all. He should have had another day of rest. But again, I can't make the decisions for Dave Roberts. But other than that, the day before that, we had 1-0. Oakland Athletics took care of business. We did have a play um, in the Cubs game that day, but... It ended up getting postponed due to weather. Then we come back following day, premium card, Boston Red Sox team total over four, top play winner. We cashed in everything on the premium card that day. It was a 5-0 and sweep, actually. And then yesterday, we come out 2-1. and one. So we'll get back at it today. If you want all of the Friday picks, I have seven total plays going tonight. Four Major League Baseball, two NHL, one NBA. Now, two of these seven plays are top plays. So you get five premium plays and two top plays, and usually we charge $25 per top play. You can get every one of these plays, premium and top play alike, for $25 for the whole card. The entire Friday day pass, $25 bucks is on the website. Go get it right now. It is a pure profit guarantee. If you do not turn a profit, you get Saturday absolutely free. We've got a big weekend coming up. What does it start with? Not just tonight. Tomorrow morning, Jerry, who has been absolutely crushing his soccer games of the week. What is it, four straight or five straight that he's won plus a game of the month? He's got a game of the week going on Saturday. Now, it is a morning game. The game's been posted for a couple of days. We don't have any line movement, so everything is still as it was the second that it was released two days ago. You can get it. It's 50 bucks, and as always, you win or you get three days of all plays in all sports absolutely free. So, soccer game of the week. Go jump on it. Head to chasewins.com right now. Grab the game of the week. You get instant access to the play the second you make your purchase. You just log in, click the link, and boom, right there at the play. That way you can go ahead and get your wager in tonight. And tomorrow morning, you can wake up with cash in your pocket. While you're there, jump on the $25 day pass. Make money through all the premium plays we've got tonight. Both of the top plays. Wake up tomorrow with a game of the week winner. And that right there will springboard you into the weekend where you can purchase whatever you like to make money. So make sure you do that. Again, congratulations to everyone that was on that were on my premium plays yesterday. Two and one. Sweeping MLB again. We've got a big MLB day today. And let's get on a free play. Washington Capitals tonight. Uh, the line is right at 160. But... We're not going to take it. We want a little bit better value, even though 160 is my max. So it's well within, you know, being able to take that. We want a little more value with this game. And I think that taking them in regulation is the smarter play. Because as I told you last week, or even earlier this week, talking about Philadelphia, last week, when they were officially mathematically eliminated from any type of playoff hopes, that what do they have to play for, guys? What are they going to, I mean, what do you really expect this team to go out and do on any given, on any given night against any given team, no matter whether it's a rivalry, no matter whether it's an away game, home game, whatever, what are they going to do? Because what are they playing for? 
it's an end to a mean at this point because the second the regular season's over, their season is over. They will not be playing not the first minute of postseason hockey this year. Now, on the flip side of things, the Washington Capitals, they still have something to play for. Do I have high hopes for the Washington Capitals this year? No, and I told you that at the beginning of the season that I did. I told you the teams that I thought were the best in hockey. I thought Tampa Bay, the reigning champions who we predicted last year to win it all, are the most likely scenario to win it all again. And whether they do or don't, they're still the best team in hockey in 2021. No doubt about it. Now, in saying that, the team in the East that I think is the runner-up, the team that could surprise everybody and take it, would be the Carolina Hurricanes. Then outside of them, or truth be told, I actually think the, the true runner-up as far as overall in hockey is the Colorado Avalanche, Carolina right after them. But those are your three teams that I think you need to watch for if you were going to be making any predictions for who's going to win the Stanley Cup and you wanted to place bets now. Those are the teams you need to focus on. Tampa Bay, Carolina, and Colorado. But Washington's one of those teams, a lot of veteran leadership, they still have a lot of speed, and they're very methodical as the way they take shots on goal. They don't take a lot of them when you, when you look at the league average, but when they take them, they're smart shots on goal. That's why they're very rarely shut out, and they have more games off, you know, more times than, than not, they have high scoring games, and it's because of what they do offensively. I don't see a world where Washington doesn't come out ready to play, knowing that they've got a team that has all but had the life sucked out of them. They have nothing to play for, so why not come in early and often, take a substantial lead, and potentially be able to rest your main guys in the third period, allowing you just slightly that that slight bit of advantage going into the weekend before you have to play again against a team, you know, before the next team you have to play that still has something to play for. So not only do I believe that Washington's going to win it, not only do I believe they're going to win it in regulation, I think they're going to try to come out and put this game away early. So I am more than okay. You have to, you're going to have to lay a dollar twenty to a dollar twenty-five getting them in regulation. If you want to take them just right out on the money line, that's fine. I wouldn't lay over a dollar sixty. You know my rules. But I would prefer you take them in regulation, get better value, lay that dollar twenty-five, and let's take the Washington Capitals as a premium play tonight. Big play. And I think it'll be an easy winner for you. Go to ChaseWins.com, jump on a package. You know the two you got to get on and get with us this weekend and start making money. Love you guys. See you in the winter circle.